Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we're going to show you guys the difference between moving objects and people in terms of sprinting as well as using the dash button. So let's go ahead and hop in, change a few settings, and see what we can do. Here we have the different objects. We have the sphere and the person. Let's go ahead and change the sphere properties so we don't forget here. We're going to change the frame of reference of motion to camera and the mode to speed. This is going to be important for what we're doing to be able to multiply the speed. Now that we have that set, we're going to call upon the stick buttons, which I hope you guys know where they are. You're going to need quite a bit of space for this unless you use smaller nodons. All right, and this is going to be the first layer that we have going on here. And now we're going to need to call up four calculate nodons of the multiplication sort. And we're going to call on the constant nodon next. So the constant's going to be sticking in here along with our stick movement, just like that. And we're going to actually copy him again and do the same down here. So we have the left and right movement going into this multiplier. We're going to go ahead and put this output left and right into the person left and right, just like that. And then we're going to call on a button. So this is going to allow us to sprint. Let's make it the ZR button, put it in the center right here. And this guy will be going into both of one of the inputs there, as well as Make sure we're taking from the calculator and putting it into this other calculator. Things can get pretty crazy when you're calculating like this. And then make sure the left right goes to the left right here. And the, the up down goes to the up down as well. Now we're going to have the sprint function of the person. The other thing you have to make sure to do is go into the person and change their movement speed from 1 up to 2. There's a good reason for this, and I'll show you guys why in a second. So now when we run, we run at a speed of 1, but then we hold the sprint button, and we can run up to a speed of 2. The biggest difference between the person and the moving object is that the person is limited only to be able to run up to a speed of 2. So if we went over to this constant here, and we increase this up to 2, this is going to increase the person's speed where they did run at up to 2. So now he can constantly run without holding the button, and when I press the button, it does absolutely nothing because he's already running at his max speed. Same if we went in here and changed it down to 1, then the person wouldn't be able to run past 1 no matter what we had the constants at. Thankfully we can get around this by moving everything over to a moving object. So if you guys are wanting to just do a person, you can have them speed up to 2, make it 1 and 1, or 2 and 0, either way is fine. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we move these dynamics onto the sphere. Let's start by moving the camera, so we're going to want the camera to be following the sphere now. And to make things easy, we're just going to take this stick movement. Now make sure you take the forward backward and move it to the Z, both of them, and then take the left and right and move that to the X axis. All right, now the sphere should have a two constant. So he's moving kind of slow. This is a big sphere though, and then we press ZR and he moves a little bit faster. We say, well, big deal. Let's see what happens though. The power is in multiplication. Go over to the constant and let's make it something noticeable. Make it 10 times faster. 20 for the constant. Just like that, and let's go ahead and see what happens now. Alright, there we go. We are really moving, but if we hold the ZR button, we can move twice as fast, because the ZR adds plus one. Basically, you're able to multiply it by two, just with this simple setup. So, this can move pretty much infinitely fast if you have it hooked up to a moving object, which is really awesome, but we're not quite done yet. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we move this thing up way ridiculously high to 200. Alright, there we go. Are we crazy? Yes. Warning, if you have any kind of motion sickness or epilepsy, please don't watch this part. Alright, here we go. 3, 2, 1, let's go. <laughs> this is so crazy and we can continue to increase the speed. This thing is just flying all over the place. So, this is the main difference between the person and the moving object, the moving object is unlimited, the person is limited. But I hope you guys have fun with that and that you know the setup really well. It's not that difficult, just a few calculators with 
a button press and the constant nodons will do that for you. Till next time, take care, God bless.